Hello, Divine Playlist curators and commandment enthusiasts. Today, we're cranking up the volume on God's ultimate top 10 hits, the Ten Commandments. You heard that right, we're about to embark on a rhythmical journey through the moral maze of these divine directives. And trust me, it's going to be a ride to remember. In this heavenly playlist, each commandment is a chart topper, a spiritual anthem that resonates with our moral compass. We're throwing in a twist of humor and a pinch of sass to make our journey through these commandments a dance to the rhythm of righteousness. So buckle up as we delve into the divine depths of these commandments, spinning them into a playlist that's going to have you grooving with the divine. We're not just reading commandments here, we're feeling them, we're living them. So get ready for some heavenly humor, a sprinkle of sass and a rhythm that'll have you dancing through the moral maze. First on our divine playlist is No Other Gods. Imagine you're at a concert, the anticipation building, the crowd buzzing with excitement, the lights dim, the stage is set, and who's the star of the show? It's God, of course. He's the headliner, the main act, the big draw. This isn't a religious talent show with a lineup of deities waiting in the wings. No, sir, in this divine concert, there's only one name on the marquee, and that's God. He's the one with the spotlight, the one with the mic, the one who sets the rhythm and the tone. He's not sharing that stage, not stepping aside for any other gods. He's got the solo act. So remember folks, God's the headliner, no opening acts required. Next up, no graven images. Now this one's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek number. Imagine our divine DJ spinning this tune saying, thou shalt not make any graven image. It's like God is laying down some ground rules for the fan club. Picture it God, with a divine sense of humor saying, please no selfie statues. I'm not into bronze sculptures or divine bobbleheads. It's like the ultimate request for humility and reverence. It's not about creating a divine merch shop, folks. Rather, it's about respecting the divine in its purest form. It's about recognizing the sacred, not in statues or images, but in the actions we take and the love we share. So when you're jamming to this commandment, remember, it's not about the physical representation, it's about the spiritual connection. So please, no selfie statues, folks. Track number three, don't take God's name in vain. Now this isn't about God being offended by our casual use of his name, no, no. Imagine you're at a concert and the lead singer is belting out a tune. Would you shout out your grocery list? Probably not. It's about respect and reverence. So when it comes to the Almighty, it's about using his name with a sense of awe and reverence, not as a verbal stress ball. It's like God saying, hey, I'm not your divine swear jar. I'm the composer of the cosmos, the author of existence. So the next time you stub your toe or your Wi-Fi drops out during the season finale, remember it's not, oh God, it's oh darn or oh fiddlesticks because God isn't an exclamation mark at the end of our frustrated sentences. Remember folks, save the swearing for your car repairs gone wrong. Next on our divine playlist, remember the Sabbath. Now this one's a personal favorite of mine. It's like God saying, hey, even I took a breather on the seventh day, you deserve a break too, you know? It's the celestial equivalent of a do not disturb sign. God's not shy about promoting self-care and rest. After all, creating the universe was no small task. Imagine the big guy kicking back, probably with a divine cup of cosmic cocoa and saying, you know what, let's make one day special. One day where everyone can pause, rest and recharge. A day to just be. So folks, the fourth commandment is less of a command and more of a divine recommendation. It's God's way of making sure we don't burn out. So don't forget to take a day off and chill. After all, if it's good enough for the creator of the universe, it's good enough for us. Track number five, honor your parents. Now, this is a classic hit that has been playing on repeat since the dawn of time. It's the original Mum Said and Dad Said, the timeless tune that echoes through the hallways of every home, from the bustling cities to the quiet countryside. This commandment is God's way of reminding us to respect our elders. It's not just about obedience, but about recognizing the wisdom and experience they bring to the table. It's about understanding that they've walked this earth longer than we have, and they've picked up a thing or two along the way. So, next time your mom tells you not to slouch, or your dad advises you to save up for a rainy day, remember this commandment. Because let's face it, nobody wants to be on the receiving end of a divine eye roll. So do as your elders say, or prepare for divine eye rolls. Next up, no murder. We're diving into the sixth commandment, a serious note on the heavenly playlist. But let's keep the tone light, shall we? Picture this, God launching an anti-violence campaign, with celestial billboards that read, Thou shalt not commit murder. A clear message, no ambiguity there. 
But let's imagine God adding a bit of humour to soften the blow. No killing, please. Love thy neighbour, don't knock him off, God might say. It's a divine plea for peace, a call to respect all life wrapped in a bit of celestial comedy. So friends, as we dance through the divine playlist, let's remember that harmony in our actions is as important as harmony in our tunes. Let's choose love over violence, understanding over conflict. After all, in the grand dance of life, we're all partners, not opponents. Remember folks, love thy neighbor, don't knock them off. Track number seven, no adultery. Now this one's about keeping things clean in the romance department. You see in the divine dating guide, it's all about fidelity. Imagine you're browsing through the celestial version of a dating app. You may see some stunning profiles, but remember the commandment here is clear, thou shalt not commit adultery. In today's lingo, that translates to, keep it PG, folks. It's like God's giving us a friendly reminder, hey, no swiping right on thy neighbor's spouse. It's not just about respecting your own relationship, but also honoring those of others. It's about trust, loyalty, and staying true to your commitments. So the next time you're tempted to stray from your path, remember this catchy tune from the Celestial Jukebox. It's a simple yet profound reminder to respect the sanctity of relationships. So folks, remember thou shalt not swipe right on thy neighbor's spouse. Next on our divine playlist, no stealing. Now this one's a real chart topper. Picture God as the ultimate security guard, reminding us thou shalt not steal. That means no shoplifting, no pickpocketing, and absolutely no borrowing without asking. But let's add a dash of humor here, shall we? Imagine you're at a party and you spot a divine piece of cake. You think, I could just take a tiny slice, nobody would notice. But then, bam, God taps on your shoulder and says, ahem, did you ask? So whether it's a piece of cake at a party or your neighbor's lawnmower, remember to ask first. And it's not just about material things. Stealing someone's idea, their time, or their peace of mind, that's a no-go too. In the grand cosmic gig, God wants us to respect others' rights and properties. So folks, hands off, sticky fingers. Track number nine, no false witness. Now this is where God taps into his inner journalist and reminds us about the importance of truth-telling. Picture God, microphone in hand, saying, thou shalt not be the fake news anchor of the neighborhood. This divine decree is all about honesty, integrity, and being true to yourself and others. It's a call to resist the temptation to spread gossip or rumors, or to twist the truth to suit our own narratives. It's about keeping our tongues from deceit and our hearts from malice. Imagine if we all lived by this commandment, our neighborhoods wouldn't be filled with whispers behind closed doors, but with open conversations based on truth. We wouldn't need to question the authenticity of every word, so folks, spread the truth, not rumors. Remember, in the Divine Broadcasting Channel, there's no room for fake news. Let's be the reliable sources God wants us to be. And finally, no coveting. The Tenth Commandment is not a call to stop window shopping or to cease admiring your neighbor's shiny new lawnmower. It's a divine reminder to be content with what you have and not to crave your neighbor's possessions. Picture this. It's like God saying, Thou shalt not lust over thy neighbor's high-speed internet or their golden retriever that never poops on the lawn. It's a call to shift the focus from what others have to appreciating what you've got. Instead of longing for your friend's job promotion, rejoice in your own achievements. Rather than envying your cousin's round-the-world vacation, cherish your own memorable moments. So the divine decree is not just about avoiding jealousy. It's an invitation to cultivate contentment and gratitude. It's about finding joy in your own journey, not someone else's highlight reel. So folks, don't be jealous, be joyful. So there you have it, divine beings. God's top 10 hits, the ultimate playlist for a life well lived. We've journeyed through a divine dance party where the rhythm of righteousness meets the beats of humor and wit. We've discovered that even the most serious of commandments can be understood with a light heart and a cheerful spirit. Let's take a quick encore, shall we? We kicked off with no other gods. Remember, God's the star of this show, no room for auditions here. Then, we grooved to no graven images. God's not into divine bobbleheads or bronze selfies, just pure, unadulterated spirituality. We moved on to don't take God's name in vain. God's name isn't a divine swear jar, folks. We saved our fourth jam for the Sabbath because even God knows the importance of a good rest day. Honor your parents, the fifth hit, was a throwback to all those mum said and dad said moments. 
Now, no murder needs no funny interpretation. It's simple. Love thy neighbor, don't remove them from the equation. Keep it PG, folks, was God's romantic advice in no adultery. We then got a reminder to keep our hands to ourselves with no stealing, no shoplifting, pickpocketing or borrowing without asking. Spread the truth, not rumors, was the ninth hit, reminding us not to be the neighborhood's fake news anchor. Finally, we closed with no coveting. Don't be jealous, be joyful. Craving thy neighbor's golden retriever that never poops on the lawn won't do any good. So, divine beings, we've laughed, we've grooved, and we've discovered God's top 10 hits, the ultimate playlist for a life well lived. It's a divine dance party where the beats of righteousness meet the rhythm of humor. Feel free to drop a comment with your favorite commandment jam, share the beats with your pals, and hit that like button if you're ready to boogie with the divine. Let's keep the divine dance party alive with laughter in our hearts and kindness in our steps. Before we wrap up, a big thank you to all our divine playlist curators and commandment enthusiasts. We appreciate you taking the time to boogie down this divine dance floor with us. Your attention, your energy, your laughter, they've made this party a divine blast. If you've enjoyed our divine playlist and want to keep the party going, don't forget to hit that like button. Share this divine dance party with your friends and family. Get them grooving to God's top 10 hits. And remember, every like, share and subscribe is a step towards a more divine world. So hit that button and let's keep this divine dance party alive. Stay tuned for more divine playlists. Until then, keep the laughter in your hearts and kindness in your steps. And remember, stay divine.